Okay, today we will cover, cover growth and decay, which is chapter 5, all right? So this is basically, you'll be doing exponential functions. Uh, you'll be learning exponential growth and exponential decay. So you don't need to worry about this so much because I'll go through it later, all right? So let's look at the examples that you have here. So I am uh, skipping and going to your manual, um, starting with examples first. So solving an exponential equation. So there are two types. One is like this. This is what you did in chapter four before this, where you applied log to solve uh, the unknown, which is a power. Okay, so I'll just go through it one more time. So nine to the power of two X equals to six, five, six, one. You want to solve for x, you need to apply log, right? So if you apply log to the left and you apply log to the right, this is what you can see, all right? So the 2x will come in front here. Then you can solve it for x, all right? Now, if you have something that has e, that has exponential there, okay, this is where you apply something different, where you have to apply ln. This is not in, this is ln. It is in your calculator next to the log function. <laughs> Alright, next to the log function. Okay. Alright, let's have a look. So 8e to x equals to 20. e to x equals to 20 over 8. You always try to simplify it. Okay, so what happens is now you're going to actually apply ln. Alright, so I'll show you the mechanism behind it. So what happens here is this. It's the same as you when you apply log, the power will come down and come in front. Same thing. You have e to x here, right? You apply ln, the power will drop and come in front. All right, and then you will have that equation. But ln e is one. Ln e is one. So that is why it goes away. So it's two x equals to ln 2.5. X is equal to ln 2.5 over two. All right, moving on. So if you have something like this, e three minus two x will equal to four. So whenever you have anywhere got exponential, you have to apply ln. Then only you can solve it. You understand? So e three minus two x equals to four. So now we apply ln. What will happen? When we become e, the street minus two x will come in front. Then you're only left with ln e. Can you see? So ln e is one, so it goes away. Then you can solve to find x. Okay? So now this is the growth and decay formula y is your present value that means the new value k is initial value original value a is the growth or decay factor so like i said learning growth that means the something that the numbers are increasing and we'll be learning decay something that's decreasing and time which is x okay so this is your growth curve it will go upwards it will slope up this is the decay curve it will slope down all right Okay, so the growth factor is always 1 plus R. Why is it? When something is growing, just like increase in percentage, it will be more than 100%, right? So same thing. Okay, so let's say that I'm saying that, oh, increase by 30%. So your R is 0 0.3. What is your A? 1.3. If you tell me that A is 1.08, what is the rate of increase? 8%. Same goes to the decay factor. A is equals to 1 minus R. Okay. Decay is reducing. So it will be less than 1. So if I'm saying the decrease is by 30%, then your R is 0 0.3. Your A is 0 0.7. Okay. It must be lesser than 1. A, if let's say they tell you the A is 0 0.88, what does that tell you? You know it's less than 1. It's decay. But by how much? By 12%. Okay. So let's look at this example. This is easy. You only need a few things. So we're going to write the formula again. Y equals to ka to the power of x. Y is always a new value. That is what you want to predict there. Eh? Three years time. So that you are looking for y. Okay. 2000 is k. Y 2000 is k. 2000 is an original value. Now this is increasing. Increasing means I have to add 1 plus 0 0.04. All right. Then you put it to the power of 3 years because this is 3 years. That's why to the power of 3. And you will give it to a closest number. Why? This is human population. It cannot be in decimals. Alright? Example 2. 
20,000 is K. Decrease, your A must be less than 1. So, it will be 0 0.88, right? Because reduced by 12%. What will be the value of the car after 3 years? So, you plug it in the formula and you'll be able to get the answer. Alright, this one, they've already given you this equation here. So, no problem. Quite easy, but always compare it back to the Y equals to KAX formula. This will be Y. There's the new... The, new value right you want it to grow to that much so this is why this is k 1000 is k e 0 0.04 is a all right so i'll just write it down for you y is 4000 k is 3000 uh, 1000 okay and your growth factor is E 0.04 no t the t is actually the time okay so this is something you must know all right because i know it's not relevant for this question but in the exam they will definitely ask you give you a formula that i ask you what's the growth factor so your growth factor is a equals to this part e 0.04 so just plug it in the calculator and you can get the answer <laughs> Okay, so now they're asking you to find time. How to find time? You just solve the equation, right? So what the best thing for you to do is always simplify it first. I take the 1000, I bring down. It becomes 4000 over 1000 is 4, isn't it? So E 0 0.040 equals to 4. Then you can, then you apply ln. So if you can't really see what's going on here, it's actually, you're applying ln. So the 0 0.04 T will come down. Okay. this is what's going on here okay the 0 0.04 t will be going down so you know ln e is one all right all right so ln e is one that's why it disappears here so it'd be 0 0.04 t equals to ln 4 you should be able to solve it for t okay the amount will be 4000 in about 34 years in advance so either you give it in two decimal places 34.66 years or you give it in years and months but if the question don't specify then you just follow it all right okay now you can actually start completing exercise 5.1 and 5.2 for exercise 5.1 and 5.2 i will send you a photo with all the working in uh, your chat according to the channels all right